Okay, this is for our Tuesday collab for crock pot or casserole or Dutch oven. It's about the same as a crock pot. So I am going to make an Irish stew for over potatoes. I haven't decided if I'm going to put garlic in there and make it garlic mashed potatoes. But in here I'm going to cook my roast beef, which is really going to be chunks of steak. Same thing. Then I'm going to put in celery, carrots, onions. After I cook the meat first, put it aside. And then I'm going to put in some broth. I'm going to cook that for like an hour. And then I'm going to have it over mashed potatoes. Continue watching and I'll show you my steps. So first, first I have the meat in. Got a little butter and oil in there. I'm going to cook that. That is beef straight from the farm. And then this, um, the potatoes are boiling. I did put a couple pieces of garlic in there. I'm going to take some corn and take, out the, take it off the cob for on the side. And I got celery and carrots put in, and onions and garlic to put in here. Once I get this browned all over. Okay, so most people will take it out. But I'm just going to add my 7 feet cooking. Um, you need, you can use olive oil. I didn't. Um, roast, onion, carrots. It says one large onion for large carrots, two cloves of garlic, salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary, two bay leaves, two cups of beef broth, two tablespoons of soft butter, two tablespoons of flour, and keep keeping one third frozen peas over mashed potatoes. This is going to go. Okay, I added onions and garlic. Now I've got to add celery and carrots, which I have mine already frozen. Got to cut up last fall. I just add those. I don't need as many carrots as in this bag, but I need half of it or so. I'm sticking it in. That's hard for me. Oops. Maybe a little bit more carrots. And then it says peas, frozen peas. And of course, this stuff's frozen too. Because I just cut up in the fall and then I freeze it for whenever I want to make soup. Okay, we're going to let that cook and then I'm going to add my beef broth. Okay, well, now I have in, you know, some of the recipes call for beer. I'm not putting beer, I put chicken broth. And um, I'm going to put, it says a teaspoon of thyme, I'm just going to put a little thyme in here. And a little bit of rosemary. I do have some in my garden. Once again, I didn't go get any. Not a lot, just a, it says teaspoon. So whatever you taste. And you can put salt and pepper if you like. I don't ever put salt because my husband adds salt. And he doesn't need a lot of salt. So I'll let him add his own. Sometimes I will put in my sea salt though. But I won't put the iodine salt or whatever it's called. Okay, I'm going to let this cook. After it starts boiling, I'll turn it down a little bit. Put the lid on and let it cook for about an hour. And then it should be done. Some people stick it in the oven. But I'm going to do it on top. It's been cooking for about a half hour. They say when it's done it, to mix butter and flour together, a tablespoon of each, and then pour it in here to thicken it up. And it's called a roux. Oh, look at that steam. But so far it's looking good and it smells delicious. I can really smell the herbs. And then my corn is off the cob and warming up. Right there. The mashed potatoes are waiting. Okay, I ended up making a roux. I just mixed it up in here. A tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of flour. And it's in there, so let's see. It thickens it up like it's supposed to because it's about done. How's it look? Too steamy, isn't it? I'll show you it dished up. Let's hope it's 
thickens like it's supposed to. Corn's ready. Get all in there. I will have the ingredients below. I don't know if I have the step by step, maybe. But the ingredients will be below. Okay, hey, here's our taste tester. He's taste testing, well, the stew. Our Irish stew right there. With corn. He has a stone salt and pepper. Do you like the flavor? It's the main mm -hmm. thing. Good. One thing I did add, because I didn't think the meat was tender enough, is... Um, thyme? No. No, thyme and rosemary is in there. I added... Um, Worcestershire sauce to no. tenderize the meat. Just a little bit, like a teaspoon, mm -hmm. a tablespoon probably. Yeah, I can taste it now. It's so you good. like it. Delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number 10. It put me to sleep because of comfort food. A comfort food. Okay, thank you.